guys, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. I welcome you once again on board. Thank you for your support. Thank you for standing by and thank you for checking in. All right, guys, I bring you interesting news. Uh, but before that, I would like to crave your indulgence. So please subscribe to this channel and um, please do hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you. All right, interesting news. Where is Tukur Buratai, the Nigerian chief of army staff? A Nigerian senator has alleged or claimed that foreign soldiers are fighting bandits in Sokoto as the Nigerian army are not effective. Okay, could this be true? All right, guys, let's get the details of the news so far. Ibrahim Gobir the All Progressive Congress member representing Sokoto East Senatorial District has said on Tuesday that the Nigerian military is no longer capable of saving his people from bandits. Really? I thought that the Chief of Army Staff is in the north, or in the northeast over there, where he's fighting terrorists, and um, he has said that he they've said that he will not return until Boko Haram is actually defeated. So how come? All right, guys. Gobir stated, he stated this on the floor of the Senate while seconding the motion moved by the Deputy Chief Whip, Sabi Abdullahi, on the order given by the President, Major General Muhammad Buhari retired, to flush out bandits from the states. The Senator said his people now rely on the soldiers from Niger Republic to wade off the attacks of bandits whenever the hoodlums struck. Oh, what a nice gesture from the Niger Republic um, Army. Well, we appreciate them, we thank them, and um, we continue to um, pray that they would, uh, you know, continue to help. There is no protection for many people in Sokoto East Senatorial District because of the incident attacks on the bandits. At least 300 people have either been killed or kidnapped in the last three months, while other over 5,780 cows valued at 2.5 billion naira had been stolen. We are even appealing to the federal government through the Senate for preparation. When we call the Nigerian army, whose personnel are a few kilometers away, we won't get an instant response. Jesus, how come? Why? But the Nigerian soldiers, who are about five kilometers away, will quickly move on and word off the intruders. Uh, sorry, the Nigel soldiers, I beg to say. It's about the Nigel or the Nigerian soldiers who are about five kilometers away will quickly move on or move in and ward off the intruders. At some moment, the Nigerians in Sokoto East were relocating to Niger Republic because they were no longer safe in Nigeria, Senator Ibrahim Gobir says. The Senate accordingly recommended Buhari for ordering the military to flush out bandits from Kassina State, but said the scope of the order should cover Zamfara, Niger, Kaduna, Sokoto, and other states under the attack of bandits. Okay, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular issue? First and foremost, the first question that we should ask is, where is the chief of army staff? Where is Tukur Buretai, whose primary job is actually to, um, or whose actually job in the northeast as it is at the moment, is to actually defeat the BH guys and the bandits, because that is where he is or within the axis. So how is he? Is it that he's missing on duty or he cannot be found or he has gone somewhere else? what could be going on the people of sokoto should not be relying on foreign uh, armies to fight their battles buhari and the nigerian army 
cannot be relying on foreign armies to fight their battles when we have our own soldiers. Yes. So guys, be that as it were, what do you think concerning this particular issue? Now, for me, I think the um, chief of staff needs to be questioned. If we have a situation in the Northeast and he has been deployed to the Northeast to actually cover those areas and we are having the Nigerian soldiers fighting on behalf of our people, we are not saying that it's out of place or it's not good, but the question is, where are our soldiers? If these Nigerian soldiers need to battle in their own territory, what happens to our own people when they are in an emergency or where they have a need for our soldiers? And how long will these Nigerian soldiers continue to fight and help our people? So these are some of the challenges on ground that we need to address. If this is coming from a senator, then you can, and an APC senator for that matter, then I think it is worth believing, it is worth actually giving a second thought. So where is Tukur Boratai should be the major question that we are having Nigerian soldiers coming to help rescue the people of Nigerians in Sokoto. So we all know that, what, honestly speaking guys, let's take a look, let's, let's really analyze this issue. The, the chief of staff, Tuku Boratai, is in the Northeast fighting bandits, and Boko Haram as it were, insurgent as it were. Now, I understand, or I believe, or I think, I don't know which is right in this context, that there should be commands all the here and there, whereby people, the soldiers on ground, to handle these issues, tackle these issues. So, if the people of the North, uh, Sokoto East are having issues, where, 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 where is the nearest command to them? Why don't we have soldiers on ground who can? Just like the senator said, if it is, if what he said is anything to go by, that are Nigerians who are five kilometers away. Nigerian soldiers are the ones who are five kilometers away, would now have to travel five kilometers to uh, uh, come to their rescue. It may definitely not be too far. Five kilometers may not be, you know, but it's, we should have people on the ground. How have they designed the operation? These are questions that are worth answering. We cannot be really relying on the Nigerian soldiers to help fight our people. Of how, sorry, to help fight for our people. When we have our soldiers who collect a budget, who collect, uh, um, you know, several allowances as it were, to do their jobs. So what happens? This is, this is an issue that needs to be looked into critically by the president. I still find it difficult to understand why the president has refused to sack the service chiefs and bring in uh, new hands over how many years it remains to be seen i stand to be corrected but this guy needs to be changed and we need new hands who will be determined to make a name for themselves who will be determined to end this insurgency and who will be determined you know to ensure that the lives and properties of nigerians are intact and are uh, of high priority to them than this docile set of service chiefs that i think we have in power at the moment I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. But guys, where is Tuko Poratai that we are having Nigerian soldiers come to come to the rescue of uh, people in Sokoto East? This is coming from a senator. And the senator for us said that, you know, that Buhari said that he ordered the military to flush out bandits in Castina. So what happened to other parts of the northern states? Who will do that for them? I don't want to say that the president is selfish if this is true. I don't say that it is, he's selfish because he's from Katsina, as it were. But what would expect that insurgents ought to be flushed out from all the northern states, all the northern states, all the northern states, so that peace can return to the region, so that peace, can, because peace has eluded this region for so long, for so, so long. Communities being sacked daily, people being killed, even just as at yesterday in Borno, there were still reports of attacks. Who are responsible for these attacks, as it were? Where are the Nigerian soldiers, uh, the Nigerian army, who ought to actually, you know, prevent this or seize the opportunities to ensure that peace and order, you know, is in place in these northern states? 
Why is it that the more you look, the less you see? Well, guys, it's what it is. Kindly drop by the comment section and let's discuss this issue. Let's really understand what is going on because as it is, I really do not understand and I cannot, you know, phantom the reason why we would have Nigerian soldiers all the way from Niger coming to rescue our people. Look at what happened if not that the Chad president and his army went in to deal a huge blow to the BH guys in the Sambisa forest. Where, what would have been the story? For Nigerian government, a lot of things are begging. A lot of questions are begging for answers, as it were, concerning this issue of the BH guys, the insurgents, the bandits that is ongoing in the north. Who will answer these questions? How will they answer these questions? Who do we ask our trade questions to? These are some of the questions that needs to be answered. But be that as it were, guys, drop by the comment section. Let's do what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon as well so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.